we're going to look at my three maples that I bought earlier in the year. Um, this will not have the newest one I bought um, in it. Um, first, we're going to look at the Trident maple. Now, I had cut... I don't think I filmed this, but I cut the Trident maple here to shorten it because I didn't need it growing. Um, and I figured I could get a, do a new... If I'm leaving it taller, get some ramification in the in the trunk with a new leader. Um, we're probably ready to take. I think I'm ready to take. Yeah, that's slightly digging it. Yeah, the wire needs to be removed. Um, beyond that, I don't think we're gonna. I don't need anything done. It was just it's more of an update than anything. Um, I think I'm just going to let it grow for the rest of the season as it is. You can see it's butted out a it's put out a lot of new stuff all over. Um, yeah, I'm going to look around. There might be something I want to remove, but I don't think so. Nah, I don't see anything. It's no, I'd see one. This branch is growing from the bottom of the branch, so there's no reason to leave it there. I'm going to remove that. Okay. Get rid of that. And then we will remove the wire up here. that stays in place so the wire has done its job we will move on to the next tree next we have one of my Japanese maples I will put the name of it on the screen again because I don't know how to pronounce it um, I again chop the top off of this one um, and it has put out a lot of growth since I did that. Um, a lot of growth, a lot of new growth. You can see the difference between the new growth and the old growth. The older growth has a little bit of brown on this edges from hot, the hot weather uh, earlier in the summer. Um, this I am going to clean up a little bit. We've got a lot of branches that are in. They're not really useful. This one I'm going to take off here. It's kind of too close to the trunk. So I'll remove that. That was all new growth. Um, we got one here that's in the, in, the, in between the trunk and the branch growing out. We will leave the leader to grow for now, but I think I've got four in total branches coming out of the trunk at almost the same spot, and I don't like that. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this older branch off. Seeing that's thicker of the four, and I don't really need a huge branch at this moment. I'm still growing this out. Um, so, and then we got a branch below it. A little bud that has come out below this, so that will be good there. Well, that'll be a better place for a branch. And then 
we have this and this I want to remove. Um, again, this is a new chute. This is an older chute. I like the position of that newer chute better. So we will remove the smaller chute. And there, clean that up a little. Um, for here, I have a little branch coming out right at the near the base of that branch, so I'll have to get rid of that. And this little branch here, for now, I'll keep it. I may take this off eventually and put that, but we'll decide that later. I just wanted to clean this up a little bit, and that looks good, I think. shows you where it's healing up pretty nicely here where I cut it off um, and it'll add taper eventually so on to the next tree here we have another Japanese maple this is the butterfly one um, it's got a variegated leave to it I just thought part of the reason I bought it because I thought it was be an interesting change on leaves. Um, now this one had a lot more growth on each end of the branches coming out of here. Um, but I had got tired of waiting for it to um, bud at back bud um, before so I had So I ended up cutting it back about a week ago um, just to get it to back bud. And it has back budded quite a bit. There's some back budding in here. There's a bud here. There's a bud down here, which is really good. I wanted something down on here. Um, there's a bunch of budding in here. There's one there. And today what I'm going to do with this is some of these longer branches are going to get cut back to some buds um, in order to work on this tree. This one here, I got a bud coming out here. So I'm going to cut this and leave some room for it to die back. That off. This has, um, this has something here, so I will cut this back and has plenty and maybe something else will come out um, let, for die back there. Now here I only have, I have one little bud just coming out and I'm not sure what to do. I'm not sure if I cut this whole top off or maybe cut it to this piece for now and then depending on what that does I can cut it back more. Um, I'm going to probably get rid of one of these branches on the bottom anyways because there's I can't have I don't want three branches coming out at the same place so it's going to most likely be this thicker one I think um, I think but I'm not positive so for now I'm just going to cut it back to this bud here if you can see that it's very little Leave some room for die back. And there is that tree for now. Um, of the three maples I bought earlier this year, this is the one that needed the most work. It just has all had all the branching up top. Um, like I said, there's one here that's hopeful. And maybe some more, maybe further cutting this back, some more will come out. Possibly. Um, we'll see. And this m this stuff might even be gone by then. I don't know. Depends on what I'm going for once I get some more back budding. If I get more back budding. I probably will. Seeing it back bud so nicely before to probably back bud some more. Um, hopefully. So there's that one. And um, 
So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, perhaps you could subscribe. And see you next time.